I'm a BP dealer. I have a filling station in the Cape, and we were talking about financing a filling station for women. Um, I'm just here to tell my story is how to how did I get to the position that I could own a station. I was very fortunate that um, I approached the bank and I was lucky enough to be interviewed by a woman personal banker. She saw her second in charge is also a woman and they just saw this potential. In my mind we need a space where we can actually see the potential in, in a woman and we can say to her, listen, we form a group of women and we say, two or three or four of you, we've got this money available, let's go for it. And then we buy the second station and the third station, until three stations is bought and you can split it and everyone can have their own station. Business is all the same, whether you're a guy or a girl, um, you need to produce. Having a, a BP dealers or BP uh, site, um, it, there's a lot of fun sometimes because you've got a lot of guys working for you and like all businesses, men always think, especially the guys that's coming on the forecourt, they think that there should be a man in charge. So something will go drastically wrong and they will approach me and scream on me and say, go and get your owner or go and get the manager. And you will ask them what went wrong and I will explain and scream, scream, scream on you and they say, okay, but I am the owner and the manager and the admin clerk, so what do you want? But I strongly believe in that, that mentorship that you can have a mental one and a business one. And if you can't find a business mentor that's a woman, go to the guys. They've got the experience. Go and pull from experience. Don't be scared to ask because that's another problem that we've got as women don't want to ask.